Every day, we have the opportunity to face challenges in the same way that we always have. Every time we hit a hurdle, we can either identify with our limitations as someone who is incapable, unworthy, or we can identify with our potential to step outside of our comfort zones and to view the world and ourselves in an extraordinary way. When I was 20 years old, I was accepted to study abroad in a cultural exchange program, a very coveted slot to Tanzania. I was excited to start making documentaries to explore different cultures. And two weeks before I was supposed to leave, my father began to get very sick. And he sat down at the kitchen table with my mom. And my mom said, do you think we should let Chris go to Tanzania? And my dad said, yes. I think it will change his life. So I go into my room, I slam the door, I start crying, slamming the mattress, pounding the wall, and I fall asleep. And I wake up, I go into the kitchen, I give my dad a hug, and then I run to the beach, the only place of refuge that I knew. I feel totally alone, and I just ran into the ocean with my surfboard. I had so much pain, I had so much sadness, I externalized it in the form of adventure, in the form of travel, but do you know what it was? I was running from myself. We spent all of our energy trying to control the externals, and the only place, literally the only place that we have control over is ourselves. If you were to be a surfer, to think about controlling the ocean, it would be insane. But it's the same in our life, and it's the same in our business. We can't control the externals. All we can control is ourselves, how we react to the waves. I mean, really, at the end of the day, we're all just one phone call away from total devastation. We're all one phone call away from having our life turned completely upside down. but really the only thing that we can control is not the wave, but our response. I don't like going back to this moment. I don't like going, I hate it. I hate it, it was the most difficult moment of my life. And yet, probably the most important. We have to consciously, consistently step into activities that make us uncomfortable. That could be wrestling a 600 pound Japanese sumo wrestler. That could be racing on horseback along the Mongolian steppe. Or that could be talking to our coworker who's right next door about an uncomfortable conversation. You would sumo wrestle the heaviest man in the history of Japan. You would do it, he's a sweetheart. He likes Britney Spears. Give me a thought. Give me Baby, one more time. <laughs> What we find is that when we're in a challenge, it's uncomfortable at first. Maybe we're scared, but once we step over the edge of that wave and start riding it, we develop confidence in ourselves. And the next time we can surf a bigger and bigger wave. We're not the limited versions of ourselves that we think we are. When we change our mind, we change the world. That's the only way to change the world.